Echo Show. See Smod.com list all the upcoming performances with links to tickets. As for getting laid, that's all on you, amigo. We just make you laugh till you shit your pants. The Smonsters of Talk could be coming to your town. Go to see Smod.com and find out. Smodco's been blasting its own brand of fuck yeah for years in all forms of media. If you're saying, hold up, sir, dude, what about video games? We got that market covered, too. Visit Smarcade.com to learn about two, count them, two games for your iOS and Android device. Jay and Silent Bob grace your mobile with Too Fat to Fly and Let Us Dance. Get your game on, Smod Goblins. Check out Smarcade.com. Smodco Internet Radio broadcasts the free funny, but you can broadcast your Smodco love with merchandise. Shirts, posters, comics, memorabilia, and more. JayandSilentBob.com is your hub for comic book men, secret stash, and Kevin Smith's cinematic catalog. It's an online one-stop shop that fulfills your need, minus the weed. JayandSilentBob.com. Book market, baby. Hey kids, it's time for comics. Straight from the basement of Jay and Silent Bob's in Red Bank, New Jersey, it's The Secret Stash. Starring Jersey's own comic book men. Walt Flanagan, Brian Johnson, Mike Zapsik, Ming Chen, and that Kevin Smith. Geek on. Hey Ming, comics. Yes, hello everybody and welcome to the Secret Stash, the official Comic Book Man podcast, broadcasting from the home of the Comic Book Man, Jan Sampai of Secret Stash. My name is Ming Chen, sitting across from me. Hey, everybody. I'm Mike Zapsik. And I, I welcome back. Uh, I'm somebody, somebody pe- people have been clamoring for. Welcome back for the first time ever yeah. this season, because you this never season. tell me when you guys are doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Brian Johnson. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, you would have known that earlier if Ming didn't screw up the recording. Yeah, now we're doing this all over again. Yeah, now the magic now, is gone. It's going to feel canned and forced. Mm-hmm. And, and now I'm indifferent, Ming. Yeah. You, where did, where did, uh, are people aware of my, uh, of my indifference? Uh, people, did that get across? People aware of your absence because they're like, um, I, I don't listen to this podcast to listen to you. Meaning me, <laughs> they want to listen to more. Wow, oh, you know what? Okay, and to that, did you give him like a Hyle and Hardy fuck you? Uh, you just did it for me. So yeah, thank Hyle you. and Hardy well, fuck uh, you. What's some, going on? Sometimes you just have to say, you know what? I understand. I suck, and Bry's awesome. Yeah, you can yeah. say that. <laughs> you don't have to mean well, it. I mean, his whole family tells him <laughs> that. Why? Why shouldn't he just? Accept yeah. Why do you think? Why God. do you think I never go home? <laughs> oh, that's that's, yeah, that's a lot of negativity to go back to. Uh, but uh, uh, we are here to talk about episode eight entitled Stand the Man. And more importantly, it's our mid-season finale. Good one to go out on. It's a break. Don't call it a, a finale. Uh, all right, mid-season break. break. Mid-season break. And uh, more importantly, when we come back, uh, we take a month and a half break and we come back on Thursdays. Starting Ming on- comes back tan. I, I'm very tan in the ep- in this, this on all the episodes. Didn't you know? I'm, very, I'm or- almost orange, like snooky orange. He's very well groomed too. He's you are very well every groomed. fucking couple of days. And what's really weird is uh, yesterday I saw him and he he didn't bother to comb his hair. Really? None. It was it was long. It was it was wild. We're not here to talk about this. Man. Yes, ah. we are. We're here to talk about. We're we, here to talk about stuff, man. We're here to talk about when we come back. We're going to come back Thursday nights at nine p.m. starting Damn February fourteenth, Valentine's Day, folks. Yeah, we're going to be Brian. Were you aware of this? Um, yeah, I read it on Twitter the other day. But he's right. very indifferent about it. Valentine's Day, huh? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I guess, I guess the target audience, the, the 14th may as well be the 13th, may as well be the 18th, right? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, because they, yeah, they ain't going nowhere. Right. They're going to be camped out in front of their TVs. And on Thursday nights, we're going to be headlining a whole night of reality on AMC. Nudie book day. That's, that's what the 14th is to them. It's nudie book day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Pretty good slot. Uh, a lot of famous, a lot of a uh, lot of shows have been slated on that slot and gone on to greatness. Seinfeld, Simpsons, right? Simpsons uh, let's see, Cheers. So, I imagine we'll be bigger than the Simpsons within a year or two. Yeah, we'll get uh, what? What are they on? Twenty five twenty five seasons. Mm-hmm. 
How then, many seasons would you do before you were like, I, I do not want to do this anymore? Uh, I mean, real, what's the longest reality? It, it, not counting the re- real world and all that. What about Survivor? Isn't that like um, 14 or yeah. something? But I'm talking about consistent, like the same cast. Me, you, Mike, and Walt. Five? Mm-hmm. Five years, and I think five like, is I don't good. Do this anymore. Oh, well, then what do we like? What do you think, Walt? Yeah, I don't think it's five years either. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll give you twenty dollars for that. Yeah. For that yeah, yeah. morphine. <laughs> yeah, 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 man, you're all pissed off. Like you guys suck. I mean, who, I, Wouldn't you? I'm actually. Who would? Who of us would say no, though? That's true. I, I mean, it, it, I think it would only get funnier as time goes on. Like as time goes on, they're like, I cannot believe these guys are in their sixties. <laughs> <laughs> And still doing this we're, stupid we're, crap. We're bordering on that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close to 60. Yeah. I, Maybe we'll have a retirement party for me on one season, right? Um, That'll be a scenario that... Give I you mean, a gold watch? We might be. Yeah, that might mm-hmm. be bottom of the well by then. Bry's retirement. Yeah. Wait, wait. Retirement from what? Re- you retired like 10 years ago. That's you, true. But like an official, like, now I can start collecting social security. <laughs> you retired from life like 10 years ago. You're yeah. like, all right, I'm done. You yeah. guys suck. We got big plans for you. It was, uh, the, the, if, if I remember the calendar correctly, it was the Chinese year of indifference. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. It was just a picture of me. Yeah. All right. No animal, just Brian looking. Well, I bored. do look like an animal. This season, I, I <laughs> it's it's disturbing. What I look? Are you like really? At you're times. so down on yourself. Every, Seriously, everything on this. So excuse me. Fat. Like the camera's supposed to add ten pounds, not. It added 10 pounds for all of us. Uh, did you see Right, the, but all you guys are malnourished. Did you see me on the beach? Did you see him running on the beach like flab? <laughs> like a, did you see flab, the flab like, moving? Like moving in slow motion? Holy crap, it was hypnotic. Yeah. It was lovely. I, I did see that, but I mean, you're running. Like running for me is like, I tried, the last time I tried to run, uh, my niece Sage uh, darted away from me when uh, – I was over at Ming's house. For some reason, she, uh, when we brought her outside, she oh, took yeah. off, just ran away. And I started to run after. I was like, oh my God, like I remember what running is supposed to be. I don't <laughs> the think, burn. I don't think this is it. Yeah. Like I think <laughs> like it was a weird gallop, almost falling type thing. So, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta trim down, man. I look, I look disturbing on that show at times. All right. I mean, we've talked about doing kung fu. Like Wing Chun. Kung when Fu. are we going to do some Wing Chun? You really want to do some Wing? We'll go do some Wing Chun. I got to do something. Okay. But I'm getting my knee replaced in less than two weeks. See this guy? I don't know if I should start Wing Chun right now. You're indifferent, so that makes him different. No, right. but we knew that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We've always regarded you as different, man. Yeah. Special. <laughs> you I mean, special. Would it be disturbing? Come, say there's a season three, we come back and you're down to like 120. Well, uh, so, I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Do I have bulimia or <laughs> or some kind of weird disease? Yeah. But I, You're bedridden. I mean, what? Well, I mean, I wouldn't prefer where, where, I, where would you where, where would you feel satisfied, though? 195? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Under His two, fighting weight. Under two bills. When, when, remember when you were a plump little turkey? Oh, yeah. Like, Ming used to, people don't know this, but Ming used to be a chubby little thing. Yes. And when we worked at the office together years ago, uh, we all went on a diet at the same time, and I dieted down from 295 to 189 was my lowest. You lost over 100 and, pounds? Yeah. Wow. And I was at 9% body fat, like at my peak. Nine? Yeah. Wow. Because remember, me and Darren, we had a competition. My brother Darren, we had a competition, and we, like, we went and got measured and everything, yeah. so we knew. And so, I mean, I was in great shape, and now it's just like I look at myself, and I, it's like – it's hard to tell. I, like, I look like, um, did you see that lady, uh, that she died? She got on the plane, uh, yes. tried to get her on the plane. Yes. Four, four fifty. Four, oh she's talking about four fifty. And I'm just like, look, if you weigh that much, why are you going to Hungary in the first place? Yeah. Just fucking stay home. Man. Maybe she likes the name. Just, uh, yeah, they I'm have hungry. this thing called, they have this thing called she Skype. Was like, I can relate to it. <laughs> just, well, I think she was from. Hungary, I like the though, goulash. Yeah. But, you know, at that point, it's just like, you know, if, I don't know why she was going. I, I, did she go? I can't even remember why she went back. She went because she and her husband uh, go. And you know what? I mean, maybe I'm being too harsh because like hers is. Uh, it says she was sick or had a disease, and that's why she gained all that gained all that weight. Uh, yeah. For me, it's just you know lack of attention to you know the most basic things that a human's supposed to pay attention. Well, I mean, to. You're, like breathing. You're ailing mm-hmm. too. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sick. Yeah. So I'm a little better off than she is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck her. <laughs> yeah, big fat so. Um, <laughs> a poor but, dead uh, woman. Yeah, Holy yeah. Christ. Yeah, so she died, I guess, because they were trying to get her back to go to a hospital in the United States. And they refused and to it was like fly three her. different planes. But yeah. I'm also just like, can you imagine that's your seatmate? Yeah. 
Like she's squeezing in and she's like demands, <laughs> demands the window seat. And she's like, every couple of minutes, she's like, you know, I got to get up and stretch my legs or go to the bathroom. It'd be impossible. Yeah. And tell me she's not just a little bit gassy. Oh, come on. That would, y- yeah. you know, and there's, there's shit that she hasn't washed in decades. They should have put her on a boat. Yeah. Like a flotilla, like a barge. Like, <laughs> just, right. they, yeah, I think they said <laughs> strap, strap like bags of ping pong uh, balls. I think they're going to push her. I think they said they she couldn't go through the regular runway, you know, the l- regular gateway. And they had to crane her up there. Yeah, like the fire department had to show up. Yeah. I mean, what I would f- just be like, there's no fucking way. Uh, are we allowed to curse on this? Yes. Okay. There's no way that I would go anywhere. I wouldn't leave the house if it was like, well, there's a good chance the fire department's going to have to like lift you Jaws a- anywhere, life. anywhere. It's like Gilbert Grape. I mean, you're you're entering into that territory, yeah. like the rag on a stick shit. Wait, Brian's entering there? No, no, no. I'm saying that's when you're, you're doing that. When you have to be airlift, when they have to grab a crane and like tilt open the nose of the plane just to get you in there with – fucking plungers and i'm sure they were jabbing her with sticks Horrible. probably like she was a fucking frightened like, like, animal like, an animal? like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like the freaking <laughs> velociraptors at <laughs> the beginning of yeah, jurassic much, park yeah. like, <laughs> which is horrible but i mean just it's and this this is the kind of thing that i'm i swear to god it's it's like human nature you 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 want to fuck it? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Uh, well, yeah, that's cool. I wasn't going there, but it's cool, uh, Mike. You know, I know. Well, you're, now that I think you about know, it, chubby chaser is cool. I'm reading your mind. <laughs> yeah, well, so, 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 you know, you get your knee fixed. You know, you get on this big. I don't know. You want to run, and you don't want to stop. You get down to 195. Would that be jarring? If I went down to 195, yeah. Uh, I mean, jarring? No, because it would, I mean, if I went over down to 195 in one night, sure. Yeah, I but mean, no, the, in one I mean, that would be one major league yeah, shit. The eventual process of it won't be. It may be. I mean, if I show up 195, yeah. if there's a season three, yeah. sure. Then it's jarring to other people. You're, you're the like, oh, my God, there was a person inside that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's horrible. You're too hard on yourself. I think you look fine. If you want to go yeah. down to 195, that'd be cool. Like, you're the heartthrob already, man. Like, you're making Oh, my a- God. What a fucking sad statement for it's the not. comic book, man. <laughs> it's <laughs> not. It's not. I think, uh, I don't, it's, uh, your your wittiness, your personality, the beard. The Seriously, t- what do you have on good. him? You're the complete package. Man. <laughs> no, just, what, what did you threaten oh, him with? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just being honest. It's cool. Oh, I'm just being good. honest and making sure that those pictures never see the light of day. Get some off me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm a Ming's heart there. My heart wife drop. is my wife is uh, going out tonight. So oh yeah, come Ooh, over and girls night out. Tonight. Uh, out with you. Yeah, girls night out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> is, right. is that what you call too, Brian? Mm-hmm. Girls yeah, so out. if you want to pick up a bunch of chicks and my wife head over to the Applebee's in Tinton Falls tonight and, you know, mm. you know never you know, never mind. All right. Ming well, told me that he used to call a girls' night out in college when he would drop roofies in their drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that was disturbing. <laughs> I can see why. I did what I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> Including right. he, he strikes me though as like once he has him roofied up, he would never do anything wildly inappropriate. He would do like you ever see that footage of that dentist who would like just dance with them? Yeah, he, like yeah, last yeah, dance with weird. Mary Jane. Oh my yeah, god! He would, yeah, he would like knock his his patients out and then dance with them, like, like Tom Petty. Yeah, it was so weird looking, man. Uh, that's what, that's how I picture you. You wouldn't do something wildly inappropriate, just something like whoa, something this, really creepy, this dude's but weird, yeah. man. Like this just dance really around, weird. like like something at Twin Peaks or something, or, mm-hmm. or actually like. Do a makeover on him. Mm-hmm. You know? Hey, ooh, I think she'd look good with blue eyeshadow. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. On to more important things. <laughs> okay. Mike. Talk about there is no more important Stan, things. Stan Lee. <clears throat> Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Stan the man Lee. Stan Lee came to the freaking store. He did. It was pretty damn exciting. How excited were you? Uh, I mean, I think you saw me waiting for his limo at the beginning. I, my heart was pounding. You, I'm you, not going to lie. You know, we have a pack of pens back there that um, – we're not quite sure where it came from. Well, it was a three I'm, pack. Now it's a two pack. I'm I'm beginning to suspect. So no, I wasn't pissed my pants. But I was very I was nervous waiting. So for was I. I we were, we were was all very nervous. Pull up, you guys. Let me greet him. Yes, we did. And, and, you won the toss. Yeah, and and, and um, I it, I don't know. You've seen Stan in the interviews and all that, and he's real personable and comes across the same way in real life. Well, to us, I was just kind of like, is he going to be like that to us? You know, why would you think that though? Like, why would you think he'd be anything other than personable? I, I don't know. I've Cause never. Because you're, you're Asian? 
<laughs> you, heard, you heard some stories about Stan? Yeah. That, no, that whole, uh, he's a World War II vet. So. No, it's just, uh, you've heard of people who turn it on. Think he still holds it. And then when mm-hmm. the camera's off, like, you know, F, F you. F you guys. I'm out of here. You know. Mm. Kevin's like that. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin is not like that. I thought that's what you told me earlier. Oh, Kevin funny. is not like that. Really? Because Ming told me the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was not like said that, that about but, Walt too. But uh, well, you, <laughs> you never know. Mm. Like, you know. But I mean, how great would it have been though, like if he wasn't personable? <laughs> or how how awesome would it be if he he like actually backhanded Ming? Like maybe not, shut maybe up, maybe you. Not that he hit Ming, but like once those once those cameras went dark, he was so racist and like. <laughs> homophobic and misogynistic he just said shit that you were like oh my god yeah putting like, down this like, is insane. hey you guys are supposed to have a prostitute here for me you know yeah, stuff like, like where's that where's the goddamn whore <laughs> the whore where's the whore where's, where's the, the whore? whore where's the whore I was promised <laughs> I like want he, four of them or he just sat there muttering to himself and like sharpening a knife <laughs> on a fucking sharpening stone the entire time <laughs> I am the angel of death that's what I was afraid of or just that he wouldn't talk at all and just be like, "All right, I'm here to do whatever I'm here to do. I'm not talking to you guys." And then, and you know, what time is it? I want, I want out when the clock hits. Whatever, <laughs> I want. I want out. my PD sure. No. Yeah, but no. The like, moment who the fuck stole one of my depends. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the moment is limo pulled pulled up, door opens. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh the moment, mercy. The moment the door opens. Hey, how are you? What a great store. Came back, and uh, you know, I, I this place is a pile of shit. I saw you guys. Your jaws were dropped. Yeah, uh, yeah. You. I mean, Walt yeah, for, for you, for you, Mike and Walt. I'm sure it it had to be like to me. I was like, I was more happy. F- I mean, happy's a fucking stretch, but <laughs> I was. Oh, you were less indifferent. <laughs> yeah, that like it must have been huge for you guys. Sure, it was. It was pretty damn big. But like as kids growing up, Stan soapbox and mm-hmm. and, ju- and just uh, that like he was always in the beginning of the comics too. Right, right? Stanley, Stanley presents. presents. Right, right. You couldn't escape it in the seventies. Yeah. So so to I mean for you it must what a weird fucking journey going from a customer to a worker up at the oh website God, to yeah. working here to being on a show to being like wow fucking I'm talking hanging out with Stan Lee yeah. I'm talking to Stan Lee and you know. Oh my God, yeah. I, I mean, if if I had to trace it, just like that, it seems a little surreal. Yeah. Um, to say the least, it's it's very very odd. But it's like, wow, this is pretty damn amazing. And I'm um, the one thing that I'm <laughs> gonna go out on a limb here and and be like, what's next? Mm-hmm. Oh, in your like, life, like how oh, can yeah. you top this? What what's next? Because something's got to. Now you're what? getting like me, man. It's yeah. never enough. You need that fucking you need that fix. Mm-hmm. That you know, Stanley was was easy next? there, junkie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, adrenaline junkie. <laughs> That's because I threw with my left hand. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I mean, on the on the chart, the totem pole. Oh my is god, there, it's, it's at the top, right? Where do you go? Uh, there's a couple people that I would love to meet, but I mean, you know, it's just wow. Yeah. So. Now, now, um, when were you when were you first aware of Stanley? You know, I I know you. Um, I know. Quit stuttering, fuck. Yeah, come on. You're supposed to be the leader of a podcast. For All right, sakes. I got distracted by Walt. I, <laughs> I know you. You read books from a young age, Ooh, Mike. Look at that, Julie Zepsik, looking oh, fine. She yeah. is fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is my woman. Mm-hmm. I would mop that up with a biscuit. Yeah, boy. hey baby, you going my way? <laughs> All right, Ming is a dead man. Brian, not so much. Actually, with you, it's kind of charming. You, you're right. a dead man. Yeah, I'll help you get him. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll help Stanley. You when was the, when when were you, when at what age were you aware Three. that this? Three years old. That he was a great like the greatness. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, I had five older brothers. Okay. One of them was a comic book guy and uh, used to tell me just all about the comics. Okay. And uh, Stan, this is Stan Lee. Stan Lee wrote this. And, you know, I learned how to read from comics. So I learned how to read from Stan Lee. Basically, you know, it's like Romper Room, uh, The Magic Garden, and Stan Lee. Yes. These are the, the three biggest influences on me learning how to read. And Miss Serpent, who was my um, kindergarten teacher she's awesome yeah do you remember the first stanley title you picked up hell yes man it was uh iron man iron man number 14 iron man i 14. picked it up with my own money too 15 cents right on uh mine was uh well publicized avengers 214 yes the avengers was uh my introduction but almost i mean How old but stanley wasn't writing that no, he wasn't, but he created Look the Look at Avengers. him jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, I know, exactly. Fucking well, front runner. Well, yeah, <laughs> seriously. In the front, it says Stanley, Stanley Presents. Stanley as, Presents a lot of things. Yeah. As, Although, here's the really weird thing. When he was 
telling that story. <laughs> How awesome would it have been if like Stanley came out of the bathroom with a full depends <laughs> and just says to make Stanley presents, <laughs> just handed it to him. <laughs> would that be on eBay right now, man? No, I, I'm I don't. Thinking so. You can't eBay fecal matter. <laughs> And you know that. <laughs> the fact that you know that makes me smile. Yeah, but I mean, uh, every Mar- Marvel title in the '70s said Stanley presents, right? Right in the right in the beginning. I he- think right up until uh, the '90s. Yeah. It when said, do you think he really stopped presenting? Though. Uh, oh, it was it was late '60s. It mm-hmm. was about '67, '68, '69. I, that thing that he was talking about, the death of George Stacy, the Captain Stacy. Yes. Mm-hmm. He didn't write that. No, nor did he say he did. But and well, he said that. I think that. Well, he. Let's like put it this way: did he I didn't say this? he didn't. You know what I mean? Oh, really? If if you watch it very very closely, and I'm not calling Stan anything other than the the genial gentleman that he is. Write it but, down. I'll call him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, he said that. Uh, I thought that this was our way. He says, Peter. You know, uh, take care of her, and Peter knew that he knew that. And he, he he didn't take credit for it, you know. I'll give him that. But I mean, it's it's he led you to believe. Yes. He yes. fucking tricked you, man. He tricked you, man. Not me. You. I'm I'm gullible. You are gullible. Yeah. Good man, though. Yeah. That I mean, George what's Stephen. there any <laughs> any in, any speck of excitement though? For me? Yeah. Uh, you seem to, you seem to actually know a lot about him. The the. the all that stuff you said before the, the Stanley presents the mighty Marvel marching society. All well, that. I used to read comics yeah. when I was young. And I also, I invested <clears> in the uh, now defunct, what was it? Stanley enterprise. <laughs> wait, 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 you bought stock. <laughs> yes. I bought stock in Stanley. Yeah. And it was, um, it wasn't that much at the time, but I lost everything. Was it, like, it went bankrupt and then restructured and somehow Stan came out <laughs> fucking unscathed. I was going to bring it up to him, man. <laughs> Why? I think that's great. It's like, I, I put my life savings into you and, uh, yeah. You still have like four mansions. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> Hold on, you got you got. He just your... got back from safari in Africa. Dressed <laughs> no, like that. What the hell's going on? He's traveling. Did, was that jarring? The uh, I, I hate to use the word jarring all the time. Was that jarring the, the the all brown outfit? And that's what he wears all the time. It's a little weird. It, it looks like um, it looks like he's a, a maintenance man. <laughs> or, <laughs> the only thing he's missing is that big set of keys. Yeah, like if he had a key ring with like nine hundred keys. On it. <laughs> I mean. What do you want him to get the hell out of here? The, guy, the guy's almost 90. What do you want him to wear? Uh, he can wear anything he wants. He can, I'm just saying. I, if, you know what? I swear to God, if I were Stanley, I'd be wearing a tuxedo all the time. And I'm like 50. Yeah, now, that's, yeah. now that would be weird. That would be awesome. If he showed up in a tux, it would probably be equally as like, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you'd be like, well, at least I know he's not going to pick up any vomit. I'd rather look like I was on a safari than a butler. Or Jarvis. He wouldn't be a butler. Jarvis didn't wear a tuxedo. Jarvis wore like that. You were that Tuck, butler outfit. That like butler outfit, shit, yeah. yeah. It's, you're looking at him and you're like, wow, if you were any fatter, you'd be the penguin. Well, how long has he been dressing like that? It seems for a little while now. I mean, I can't. I'm not as biased. Because it's not even – it's matching khaki pants and shirt. Yeah, it's, it's – And pre- socks and shoes. You have to actually go yeah. looking for that. That That's not like an accident. Like, oh, shit, I, I – have all brown on. I mean, you think there's any <laughs> um, motivation behind? Like, maybe he just wants to. Blend of course, in. it's easy. <laughs> he okay, wants to depress easy. people. Right, Didn't you say start. that brown is the most depressing color? Sure. Yeah. So there you go. He wants to to depress people. He's like, I've made people happy my entire life. Now I'm gonna. Now, take I'm gonna, it away. <laughs> now at, at the end, I'm gonna just depress the shit out yeah, of everybody. This is life's mission, man. <laughs> yeah, right, but were you? At, and at I'm all, gonna clean up some vomit in the back. Were you at yeah, all? He had ex- a lot of sawdust with him. <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck that was about. <laughs> Were you at all excited? Now I know when he came in, he kind of ignored you, which kind of sucked. But <laughs> and not the well, f- I wasn't up in his fucking grill like you guys were. Okay, and I think he appreciated that. Yeah, I kept it. That's why we hung out afterwards. Yeah, that's all right. That and the uh, <laughs> then the fifty singles you kept in your pocket, mm-hmm. Stan. We got something planned for you. I'm like Stan. I need you to invest this for me. <laughs> yeah, I want my yeah. Fuck me over last Stan, time. Stan, I want but... my money back. <laughs> invest in what you invest yeah. in, not in what you want me Hold to on. invest. You got in. your Yahoos. You got your Apples. What made you invest in Stanley Media? <laughs> I read something about it. Um, that it was uh, it was a wise investment. Are you sure it wasn't Walt saying you should mm-hmm. you should put all your money into Stan? I'm not going yeah. to, but you should. There wasn't a ton either. It was like it was a couple hundred bucks I put in. 
And then I watched it sink and sink and sink, and then they just went out of business. <laughs> yeah, all right. And you just didn't know when. I was like, God, you, damn it. <laughs> writing was – I think the writing was on the wall when you read that article, and you could have recouped, you know. A little bit, yeah. yeah. But I remained optimistic. I was like, Stan would never let me down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, this guy well, created I'm, Spider-Man. I'm hoping, yeah, I'm, yeah. How it's Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor. This I can't, go, I can't go wrong. And you know what? Uh, and now I hear he's suing. What is he suing? Disney? No, Disney? it's no, it's Stanley uh, Enterprises. It's not Stanley. Stanley is completely. His name is on it, though. So what? Okay. He is complete. He is uh, divorced from that company completely. It's some guy who probably is, is like tooling around in uh, your old car. He's got my three hundred bucks. <laughs> three hundred bucks. He's got a depends. He's wearing. He's wearing stands. Depends. Why what not? happened? Uh, what happened to that? Remember, he started that company in conjunction with um, like hockey teams. Yes. Oh, the, the Guardian NHL. Project. Yeah. What How happened to that it? Work out? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they came out with the hardcover, which I get. Did you guys ever get, or was it ever solicited? Not for us. No, you had to go through the NHL to get it, and we would have had to pay um, retail. <laughs> Screw that noise. Okay. Was yeah. Wall Flanagan doesn't pay retail. Yeah, so I think that answers your question. You know, the NHL is barely, you know, they're on they're, they're lockout right now. So, uh, I, yeah, it happened and it kind of quietly went away, I think. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Man, I didn't invest in it. I don't care. Yeah. All right. So, all right, moving on, Mike. <laughs> your favorite Stanley creation. Oh. Uh, Pull one out. Excluding the one he tried to present to me. <laughs> 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 Man, this is this is a night. No, never mind. Um, my favorite Stanley creation. Uh, I love Wonder Man. I love the the I love the um the concept and the execution of the Avengers. All right, go figures. Wonder Man looks like he's going on safari too. Yes, he does. Coincidence? Pretty, uh, does he really? Yeah, he does. He's got a picture of this guy. He's, uh, there, no, there's well, there are yeah, two versions. Ahead. There's the uh, so I'll look up Safari version. <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah actually, do, yeah, jacket. actually look up Safari version Wonder Man. Yeah, it's, instead of brown, it's red. It's red, and he was wearing a black shirt and uh, black pants. Yeah, so, we, we used to have a bust of him here. His hands were on we his did, hips, yeah. and he looked like he was looking at like a rhino. Yeah. All right. What, what about what about Wonder Man? Uh, I something about him speaks to me. He was a, a like a reluctant hero. He he felt fear. He was afraid. Uh, he went up against uh, – yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, but I mean he, at least he has some uh, Color. contrast and shit. Color. Like if Stan fucking laid on the beach, you wouldn't see him. <laughs> like he'd be completely camouflaged. All right. Uh, you, you have, do, you, do you have any Stanley creations that, that, that you value over one over the other, a favorite? Uh, I mean, come on. You know, all right, never mind. Um, oh, mine. <laughs> Uh, Iron Man. Okay. I like Iron Man. I, I envy Tony Stark. His swagger, the swag, the uh, you know, the money, the drunkenness. Did Nothing. he make him drunk, uh, Stanley? No, that no, that was Dave him? Michelin. Mm. But he was, you know, that's he was supposed to be sort of like this playboy, bon vivant, like, oh, look at me, I'm a genius, mm. and you know, he can drink martinis with the best of them. So yeah, I think it was kind <clears> of <throat> just swagger, the womanizing, the smarts. Tried to make him more like Howard Hughes. But yeah. you no, know, not the urine stockpiling. Uh, I'll tissue wear box tissue. wearing. Exactly, Howard Hughes. So, so Stan's characters originally, like their their flaw was that they were like um, introverts and geeky and. Well, that and uh, no, you had Tony Stark, who was the polar opposite of Peter Parker. So he was always that way. Yeah, just, just without the booze. Yeah, and okay. he was he was a, a weapons maker. He was a, like a warmonger. Oh yeah, and they they got it right in the first movie where he's like you know. Yeah, Why weapons not? are good. Weapons yeah. made me rich. Uh, yeah. Weapon, you know, let's celebrate this. And then they, they they turned, and that's how he that's how he got injured. Yeah, and and um, became even better. <laughs> yeah, exactly, okay. yeah. and became hey, even better. Weapons are even better. I know it's a moral to that story. Yeah. So, all right, and I made even more money. Yeah, <laughs> and of course, Tony Stark is uh, out uh, playboying around, and you're three hundred bucks in the hole because of Stan. One of his did, um, did has he ever come on and said what his favorite was? Stanley? Yeah. He would never do that. He will never say that, oh my favorite for the same reason that he does the whole, well, when you've got two superheroes battling it out, I like to leave it a draw because yeah. it keeps people talking. Yeah. As so. opposed to the real reason, which is like, how the fuck would I know? They're not real. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. nobody wins. 
you big dummies. <laughs> or or I win because I got his yeah. 300 bucks. Yeah, I got a guy who a... doesn't even like comics. <laughs> <laughs> I handed a full diaper to that guy and he took it. Yeah, Mike spent countless of thousands on comics that I created. So yeah. I, I win. Exactly. He Who wins? Me. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back to 1995, Set of Mallrats. Did you meet him? Uh, briefly, yeah. Was it just like, hey, how are same guy, same guy? Hey, like, how hey, are you? Yeah. All right, and uh, and Walt, Walt. Madden. I was more interested in meeting uh, what's her name, um, Priscilla, Priscilla Barnes. Barnes. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got any good stories? Not really. I have a behind the scenes. <laughs> Did you know that Priscilla Barnes was actually a penthouse pet of the month? Oh yeah. Yeah, under an assumed name. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at you, with Joanne the, Witty. Yeah, so yeah, look check at it out. You, look at you admitting this with uh, your wife and the wings. Yeah. Oh, I know, this, all, I know all manners of really <laughs> stupid things. My wife's looking over and over there. Just, just, um, just no, I mean, I remember it was bit, like because that was very early on, <clears> so <throat> we hadn't run into many celebrities, if you want to call Priscilla Barnes a celebrity. But I got into the elevator, and she was in the elevator at the same time. And like a show that I had watched so much yeah. as a kid, I was like, "Wow, that's so Come weird." And knock on Bryce's door. Yeah, she's like, "Nah." <laughs> 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 so Thanks. that didn't work. Uh, it was just weird to see her in real life, but I didn't say anything to her. So there's, there's no story. I just dropped my what pants. Am I, what am I going to say? Yeah, I um, saw you on TV. She yeah, like, congratulations. I, um, she called the office once. You'll she be did. fat someday. <laughs> like, oh. She called the office once. Wanted to talk to Kevin, but we ended up talking for like half an hour. Oh, yeah. yeah, she seemed very cool. Come and knock on Ming's door. Yeah, what would you do if she knocked on your door? Now or back then? Either one. Let's um, let's take both scenarios. Well, I mean, back uh, uh, back then, uh, if it's a seventies, I'm not married. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's on. In seventies, you're like twelve. Yeah. No, it would have to be like you're of age. I mean, she's not gonna. Okay, have sex okay, with I'm not. Okay, <laughs> say I'm say I'm me now, but I'm in the seventies and I'm not married. And she's yeah. And uh, Nurse Terry Alden, yeah, mm-hmm. she was my she was one of my favorites. I didn't. I, she I was spanktastic, Ming. Did you like her better than? Okay, so you got Chrissy, you got Terry, you have um, Janet. Uh, Janet, Jenna, Jenna Lee Harrison, which was uh, what was it? Christmas Snow and uh, what was her name? Cindy. Lou? Cindy that's Cindy. right, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy Lou. Snow. Yeah. Thank you. Which one? Come on, Walt. Who, yeah. Who do you? Uh, uh, it, was, it was Terry Alden by far. It was mm. the whole. Oh yeah, it was thing, Terry Alden and the blonde. I like you know the blonde. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think she looked better than all the other ones. Suzanne Summers had that really weird um, tooth. I, for some reason, it was just one of those things that, is, as a kid, it's like – You'd kick her out for the tooth, huh? It's a weird tooth. And she also had um, – when she had the uh, what the ponytails, mm-hmm. she had a, a the- third one. Why would you have three <laughs> ponytails? So I'm, that always bothered me. Like yeah. you look at like Medusa at a certain point. That, yeah. It was that that bothered you? That and the tooth, yeah. Okay. Picky, man. Yeah. Picky. What about you? What can I say? Um, I would have to like I found um, what was Mrs. Her name? Mrs. Roper. Cindy. Yeah, I'd fuck Miss Roper. <laughs> I'd throw that mumu up Don. over her head. <laughs> I like Don not. <laughs> oh, you know, let's go over my place. Yeah. It, um, if I had to, yeah, Miss Roper for the story. Okay. But yeah. if I gotta pick, if I have to pick one of the younger girls, uh, it would it would have been Terry as well. Because Cindy just lo- her she had a huge head. Yeah. And her hair made it look even bigger. Yeah. Um. Janet just, I don't know, she she struck me as like... A prude. Almost being a lesbian, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Chrissy was too dopey. Yeah, I didn't, the ditziness turned me off, man. I, I, you know. yeah, and wasn't uh, Cindy like accident prone too? Mm-hmm. So she would like, probably stick. snap it right off. Like, oh! Sna- yeah. Snap it right off? Yeah. yeah okay. She would like trip and fall over me and wow. bust my cock off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do we get to this? I don't know. You brought us here, man. Yeah, I guess. If, ladies you and know gentlemen, what? Look, you know what? The captain of the ship steers us into uh, iceberg laden waters. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brian Quinn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Quinn, did you watch the episode? No. Oh, all right. You have any good Stan Lee stories? Favorite Stan Lee creation? Did you ever meet the guy? I met the guy. You're, you're, you're wearing a Japanese live? Spider Man shirt? Well, it's recording. Okay. So you is can, his mic on? Yeah. Um, He's got a hot mic. Here. Yes. He's watching the store. <laughs> All right. Because they're doing a fucking <laughs> comic book men podcast. All right. Yeah. No, actually, um, I invited him last night because uh, I saw on Twitter people were blown away that we knew each other. Like people didn't know that we they knew each other. They didn't know that we knew Q? Yeah. Or that you and Ming didn't. You that that didn't me and Quinn didn't know each other. So it blew their minds like two of their favorite shows. Like it's like, like a weird like crossover. Speaking of favorite shows, you guys moving to Thursday nights, huh? Yes. Thursdays at night. We're going to be the kings of Thursday. No, at first I was afraid because like, oh, shit. Isn't that... 
<laughs> we're done joke. for. <laughs> I, 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 I thought that was the Impractical Jokers time slot. I was like, no, no, it's 10. No, yeah. I, I watch, you know. So, so yeah, that, that's that's a – I don't know how people are going to kill that half hour between 9.30 and 10, but that's a hell of a night. Well, what comes on? What, what's Freak the, show. Um, freak show is on after us. Then it's Freak show. No, it's us then and then it's... a taxidermy show called Immortalized. I thought it was Freak Show. Then, then they, Freak, then then freak Show. Okay. Okay. Fuck Freak Show, I say. Well, well, that's what we'll say. Well, um, <laughs> Yeah, so what do you think, man? We're going to be on the show. I thought you were friends Check with the guy. <laughs> oh, you're friends with who? I, I'm, I, I thought he was friends with you. And now he's, he's in the yeah, middle of a spot right now. He doesn't want to piss off AMC. Yeah, you never met anybody from I can, Freak you know Show. What? <laughs> Freak Show. You know what? I'm getting Don't two, say it, Ming. Don't I'm, say it, Ming. No, you know what? I'm going to pull in over. I'm going to get two TVs, watch them both at the same time. There you go. Yeah. It does look weird, man. Like, I wonder if they're celebrating the freaks. The still, it seems the freaks are actually celebrating themselves. Sure. Yeah, yeah. They, they, why not? They, hey, that freak show's going to flop. It's a stupid yeah. show. Don't waste your time watching it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Practical Joker starts airing <laughs> yeah. December 13th, 10, 10 o'clock on It's no TV. killer karaoke. I'll say that. Much. Did you watch that? Yeah. Was it good? It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't really get it, to tell yeah. you the truth. Although I do like Steve-O. Right. So, you know. Yeah, what um, do you think, man? We're going to be on the same night. And not I'm excited about that. Yeah, that makes me happy. We could throw like crazy parties every Thursday night. We we can like crazy viewing parties. Yeah, like, that'd yeah, be sick. Throwing down vodka and oh yeah, you know what's not happening. What are you talking about? <laughs> throw one. <laughs> yeah, and Ming doesn't go home. So well, you wait know. a second. If you start re-airing in <clears throat> December, December, and how many shows? I think we have twelve episodes. Okay, yeah, about, so it'll probably carry into February. Yeah. Right? Oh, definitely. At least two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know we could have two crazy parties. Two all crazy right. parties, all right. Yeah, we'll have two. Okay. Put on your calendar. And then you can walk fucking freak show assholes after that if you want. It's up to you. <laughs> they're not invited to the party. Yeah, they're not invited to the party. <laughs> all right, so a lot of people know you're a, you're a huge comic book fan. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Um, they still read it weekly. Yeah, so Stan Lee in the store. I mean, I mean, come on. I have a good Stan Lee story. All right, yes. This you're is gonna, why. You're, you're not going to like is... me to say it, though. Why? Oh, I was at San Diego no, Comic Con one of the early years. So he didn't poop in his own hands and give it to you? <laughs> oh, yeah, like, was that the story you told yeah. me? Oh, that my story's that fine. That happened to me. <laughs> so it was the first year of USQ went, which is what, 2005 five. or seven or something like that? I want to say five. Five. Cause... Okay. So 2005 and, and you know, I was I ran the booth at that time and uh, after Morats, so – Stanley had come over to say hi to Kevin, and he was really friendly, super nice guy. I thought you were like he was really drunk. <laughs> no, that would be great. He, he was. I mean, I can't say anything against the guy. And a crowded form, you know, the 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 uh, collective crowd around Stanley, Kevin Smith, and of course Brian Quinn. Like people, it was miles, <laughs> miles. And Future Stanley, practical joker, <laughs> more energy. At, I guess he was like in his seventies at that age. Yeah. What was he wearing? Do you remember? Yes, I do. Jeans and a plaid button down tucked in. Okay. Oh, so that's okay. a Color. recent development. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he, he says goodbye, waves to the crowd, walks two feet, and then trips oh. and face plants like on the, the floor. floor. <laughs> like it wasn't, he didn't, even, oh. he didn't even put his hands out. It was like, <laughs> like a tree fell right in the oh. <laughs> And you hear the whole San Diego Comic Con go, oh, Stanley's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, I gotta say, like he popped up like a, like no embarrassment, no injury, nothing. He was like, hey, Celsius. And then right <laughs> He, he, said Excelsior? he did. No, I added that. And then like, he also screamed, fuck you all. Yeah, no, he, then he screamed, like, fuck Freak Show. Don't watch that shit. <laughs> it was his honor to go up to the crowd. Uh, but I've met him a couple of times, but that's the that's the memorable one. Yeah. yeah. We got to hang out. I'd we got, so. <laughs> yeah. We got a whole day with him, though. I got to watch him eat egg salad. Egg salad. Too. All right. Well, then, so like then I got to smell his egg salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I got to dispose of his egg salad. Yeah, I am wearing a Spider-Man shirt right now. Maybe. I know. Is that your favorite? Your favorite? Um, Stanley creation, Spider Man. Yeah, uh, probably. I'd say so. I, um, I mean, who else did he create? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, Spider Man definitely. Is it? Is it for the? Uh, it can relate with Peter Parker being, you know, picked on, and you know, and no, I was never out. really picked on. I, I just. I, you know who you're fucking talking to. Right? I know. I, know. Well, I didn't know. Like, I did high the school. fucking picture. <laughs> Is it that Flash Thompson? I saw your high school picture. Like, you could have been picked on, and you know, you know, where do, where's the well, re- good in high school? Yeah. I went to boys I've seen school. your high school picture. Yeah, you don't strike me. I look like a model in high yeah, school. Yeah, you fucking. All right, never now I look like you. I ate a model, but back then I looked good. <laughs> All right, put my foot in my mouth. But that's why. That's that's why uh, I related to Spider Man. Or was it, was it just the web slinging and saving people and yeah, flying through New York? I, I I like that he wasn't. I don't like that he's picked on as Peter Parker. I always like that he, the public didn't really like him. 
Oh, as Spider Man, he Spider-Man. was vilified. Yeah, yeah, that I was kind of dug it like that. That uh, the fact that he that he carried that burden everywhere. I think it kind of sucked that Aunt May was like one of his biggest detractors. Like, I like oh, that, that horrible Spider Man. It's like you know what, old lady, shut up. Like you know that what? <laughs> Just a back slap. Uh, but I mean, who did he? I mean, he did the Hulk, right? Was yeah, he did. Fantastic Four, Thor. the Avengers. Fantastic Four, I never really connected with. I was like, who gives a shit? Really nice. It's a family. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a family. It's a family. They like each other. Gives a shit. Johnny Storm's a punk bitch. Yeah. Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man. I always liked. Um, who else? Thor. X Men. X Men. I only recently have I gotten into X Men. Okay. The movies made me X Men fans. Before mm-hmm. that, I was, was like. I don't give a shit. I, they were too popular. You know what I mean? Like they were like the rock stars of it. Nah, like, they I suck. I was. I think I grew up more of a DC guy. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. You're a Green Lantern fan. Yeah. Green Lantern. Uh, well, I love the Punisher. Is my favorite oh, Marvel. Okay. And he didn't create right. No, I, I would be interested to see like uh, kids growing up, like say the ages of six till fifteen. If you're in the Marvel camp or DC camp, what does that say about you, like psychologically, right? Yeah. Because it it's got to say something. Really? I yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe, because I was a DC guy growing up, too. Did you yeah. tell me no Julia Zapsek? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the difference? What, what are the main differences you yeah, see? Yeah, where's between? our where's the, run down the list. Uh, the main difference is that, uh, well, especially me growing up. Uh, Q, there's what, like six years between you and me? Yeah, seven. 36. All right, so there's a nine More years. than six. All Oops. right. Um, back when I was in the 70s, uh, they were very homogenized. Uh, DC was pretty white bread. And uh, you're reading Superman, Superman. Racist? Are you saying racist? No, I'm saying okay. that's it's like homogenized. Like trying to get to the bottom of some something. Yeah. That, right. <laughs> yeah. DC guys are racist. That's right. what it is. No, um, it was the, just very lesser known uh, character, Negro man. That fucking <laughs> Stan Lee came up with <laughs> a Black Pete miniseries. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, actually, the uh, the Marvel guys had real world problems. Like um, the thing was he. He felt he was hideous and uh, got picked on. So we right. always wore that, the fedora and the, the trench coat. Right. Right. That's <laughs> the way to fucking that's the, slam yourself up. Right. That's the way to remain inconspicuous. Well, he was trying to remain inconspicuous, yeah. and that was pretty much I it. And, you know, and so DC's more cosmic. You then go like, get me a trench coat boogie. immediately. Yeah. <laughs> well, Batman always caught the, the bad guy, and Superman always knew how to use his powers perfectly. If you ever read um, Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow, you know, sure. There was one line in there. It's like he was Superman. He he knew exactly how to do it right. People got tired of that, though, huh? Exactly. Very fast. I never got tired of that. I always liked that Superman knew what, what the deal was. Yeah, I have a question about Batman, something that I, I, Ask I'm away. sure one of you guys know. Uh, why does he like bats so much? Like, he, he's a normal guy. Oh. His parents got killed by – is this like it's a fucking it's amateur like a, hour question? Yeah, exactly. This is what he of brings. course it is. Oh. That's why like, he's why here. Why does he like bats? He doesn't like bats. No, he's bats he was like a, him. No, he was afraid of bats. <laughs> yeah, when he was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now yeah. I got it. Like <laughs> he, he emits a pheromone, Brian, right. that makes that it sexually arouses male bats. So they fly around. They flock yeah. around him and, yeah, <laughs> and like they, shoot bat loads on him. Yeah, and hence the name Batman. Right, I'm into fucking Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't aware of this. <laughs> you know how like they. They had something like in the, in, in the uh, early 2000s where like Stan Lee creates yes. the DC universe. This is Brian, the B squared grid in the DC <laughs> universe. The Batman is a guy with bad ejaculate all over <laughs> yeah, He's like, he can never even raise his arms to fight people because he's all stuck and shit like it's Velcro almost. Is that man coming in guano? <laughs> 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 the fucking methane puts it out of his shit. <laughs> Batman, Batman. Oh, for Christ's sakes. He inhaled too much bat shit again. Oh, funny. Well, I mean, you know, you're, a, you're a comic book creator yourself. A well, bit. Yeah, was, was Stan at all an influence? I mean, you're a comic book Oh, totally. Kind of- when it came to Nazi zombies, yeah. I was like, well, there were Nazi zombies with problems, real life problems. Your creation's yeah. kind of fucked up, but they kind yeah. of messed up. But like there was this one um, Nazi zombie whose aunt was constantly coming down on him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. I got, uh, no, Stanley, uh, quit trying to shoehorn it in. Right, Stanley's yeah. taking no credit for my creations. <laughs> well, what was your influence then? Uh, I guess it would have been like, I mean, every fucking – Zombie movie. That How about Romero? Out. Yeah, Romero. Yeah. You know, and Walt, John Walt, Walt Ag- and Walter was just like, let's do a book about Nazi zombies. Okay, so then, okay, and you're a free reign. You do whatever you want, and yeah. I'll draw it. And that's mm-hmm. what happened. Yep. You could. You so could. Walter's more of an influence <laughs> of fucking Stan Lee. All right, yeah, I, fuck Stan Lee. Oh. <laughs> 
you ever done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks oh for watching, God. everybody. <laughs> that, uh, no. We had a, we had a good run. <laughs> yeah. One and a half seasons. It was nice. Now, are we supposed to be nice on this? Like, is this going on AMC's it's, website? We're supposed to be not. No, it goes on the Smodcast website. Oh, so okay. you be honest. Be honest. Yeah, I love. I I, I have know nothing you, but I, respect. I know, for I know you don't. I know you didn't really mean that. Yeah, right? yeah, not at all. <laughs> I know you didn't. I'm not really just mean saying. That. Well, he did mean that about Freak Show, but that's beside the point. Yeah, I'll talk Freak Show for at least two weeks. In February. The uh, the the the, the uh, comment comments expressed on this podcast do not reflect uh, the thoughts of everybody involved. So, <laughs> especially Ming Chen. <laughs> is this an official like podcast for the show? No. I mean, this, for, it's us. It? It's uh, it gets a lot of traffic though. People who watch the show come back and they listen to this. Really? How many people listen? Uh, I'm going to say almost as mu- almost as much as Tell them Steve Dave. Wow! Oh, 20, 25 people. So it's be- but it's it's weird. It's but we're up to twenty five people. <laughs> yeah, we hit. We broke it. But it's I sell you comics, welcome. really, right? No, it's the secret stash. It's, no, it's, it's a, but I mean only you and Mike do it. No, I haven't done it. In... Who the fuck's doing it then? It's him and whoever the hell he can rope into getting it. Pretty, pretty much. Who yes. have you had on so far? Uh, we've had, well, I had Tom Mom. Um, who else have I? No. Oh, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Enough. Said, Rob Bruce. Let's Rob Bruce. Kevin's going to be on eventually. Well, oh, Kevin ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> this week, the sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. At least I'm trying, you asshole. <laughs> now that's the first honest thing you said all I'm night. I'm trying, all right? <laughs> Plus, if I don't do I that, it from you. People are like, I sure hope Kevin Smith did sound on the show. <laughs> yeah, plus, if I don't, plus if I don't put out anything, I get yelled at. So, you all right, trouble? I get in who, trouble. Who, who yells at you? Uh, from above. All right. So, who's the only one person? Ming does put out. I'm not saying. Ming I'm not, puts out. Boys. I'm not saying who. I'm just saying right. that a lot of people listen to this. So, I'm, I hope so. I'm happy you guys are here. I hope a lot of people listen because in two weeks <laughs> on December 13th, the Practical Joke is as okay. season two premiere. Yes, and on February 14th. <laughs> Comic Book Man moves to Thursdays at 9 p.m. every right. Thursday. We got another eight episodes coming up. That's exciting. I just like the idea of it coming from above and like Joel Stillerman beating the fuck out of me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what did I say about those podcasts, you little fuckhead? <laughs> yeah, I made rounders for God's sake. Like, pick it up. Yeah. Pick it up. I'm going to have bats ejaculate oh, all so over you. The, okay, so you had Tom Mom on. I had Tom. He's I had a good Rob, guy. I like I had Tom. Rob Bruce. Mike was here. Uh, we talked to uh, the zombie run episode. We are represented from Run for Your Lives. Oh, God, talk about Wait, the race. Oh, we actually talked to Olivia. She was we pretty did, cool. The yes. organizers from from who's Olivia? Olivia, the Olivia the was the head who of walked the, us through. No, the, the PR Q- coordinator for Run for Your Lives. No, no yeah, black. I don't, yeah. I don't know who she. Huh? Yes, yeah. she's very you attractive. Mm-hmm. You Wait, met her, huh? dude. Well, why don't you call me? I would have come in on that podcast. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. No, you, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> you can make fun of me all you want, man. But until but I thank you for stepping me on the mic. We got another eight of these. You're invited back for all of them. Oh yeah, that's right. I was like eight more. Yes. Mm. Now, Try to not be indifferent. Now, one question that I've been asked over and over again is, what can we expect in the next eight? Um. Now, I, this is I my this is my list. Okay. Uh, okay. This is what to expect. Yeah. This is my this is my points. list. Uh, one of the greatest versus battles ever. One tease. You know, is that gonna? T- that's a little. Teaser. Even I don't understand that. Why? Because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. A versus. Uh, you know, ver- somebody versus somebody. A battle. Okay. Okay. Does that now? Does it make sense? I mean, I guess so, but I mean, I don't know which one you're, all right, you're now, talking about. All right. Number two. Now you're not known for being an, an athletic guy. You just say you don't run. Who we said get, that? <laughs> we get to see Who's you. That fucking liar. We get to see you being very ath- <laughs> a, a, and very athletic, in my opinion. Yeah, I nearly had a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that was fun from, to see. From, and almost not moving at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and uh, we get to see you know a uh, 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 another versus contest. Um, mm-hmm. kind of like the flea market one, not exactly a battle of wits, but something else. Okay. And then, uh, you know, last but not least, uh, a lot of these episodes, we look like complete assholes. Not this time we get, we get to do something good. We do a good deed. Yeah. That was my least favorite episode. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> tune into freaks that night. Buddy. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. That's all you got. That's all I got. So who, who can people, all right. So this is it then. And for your, uh. Your podcast series until uh, until we come back. Yeah. Okay. So so what guests are you going to be lining up for the second? I'm hoping you game? guys will come back. We got to get fancy guests. You can't just keep relying. Um, on us. No, okay. Uh, I don't. Us. Yeah. Where's Stanley? You promised me Stanley would be here. Stanley's today. not Stan, but like, why don't you? You you have a little juice. You can't get a creator down here. A creator related to the episode. Um. Maybe. All right. I'll I'll work on that. Call up Jim Lee, man. Okay. I'll call Jim Lee. 
He's a Chinese guy, right? He is. All right, that, that's all you need. That's all I need is the the. Uh, Who's the one that everybody hates? You know, the guy that everybody hates. Alex Ross. No. CM Punk. No, no. The 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 guy who just got fired from DC. Uh oh, uh, Liefeld. Liefeld. You Rob Liefeld. Get Liefeld. Get Liefeld. And then he'll talk shit about DC. Yeah, get them together. Oh. Fucking, and get his. How much side juice of the story. you got, Ming? We'll see. He's got none. We'll be fucking back here for all those podcasts. <laughs> uh, I would appreciate that. Okay. No, you kidding? Yeah. Liefeld? I'm, he's he's he not doing anything he's right terrible, now. Terrible, though, right? Like he's awful. Uh, you know, and from what I understand, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, let's uh, let's. But um, <laughs> you've <laughs> seen his art. Scared. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen his art, and it's awful. Captain America does not have breasts. It's it's. I can't believe shouldn't have breasts. He's a professional I should say. Artist. This Halloween he, he did because that's what I went out as. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we're hurting Ming's chance of getting him on the show, so <laughs> yeah. I, he's awesome. Yeah, plus I, I got to go. So Brian Brian Quinn of Impractical Jokers. Right. I feel like I came in and ruined the, the show. No, not at all. No, not at no, all. no, no. Ming no, did that when he – Thank you. No, I think he started button. the show. Yeah. <laughs> if by ruin you mean make it listenable, then yeah. <laughs> no, I think uh, comic book fans love a good crossover. You just crossed over in the in – Did our, Stanley in, create the Silver Surfer? Yes, he did. Yes. Oh, he like and Silver he Surfer. Jack Kirby. Like Silver Surfer too. He and Kirby. Alien. Cause that's a How about Black Panther? What? The Black is, Panther? Isn't he just a black dude that lives in a foreign country? Yeah, what did the Black Panther do? Yeah, what does he do? He, he, he took down Captain America. Oh. I mean, that, that's doesn't, a, that doesn't say a lot. I mean, I like Captain America. <laughs> I like Captain America. Who came up with Captain America? That was um, Jack Kirby and uh, Joe Simon. Yes. Because Captain America is a character who, sh- who's, who shouldn't work for me. Because I don't like nationalism, you don't like patriotism. I don't you don't really, like your country. I uh, know. I love. I love. Way to dig the parts a hole, of the man. country <laughs> that I'm in. Were there any <laughs> black characters that didn't have the word black in front of them? Yeah, uh, Black Goliath. No, I'm sorry, oh. Giant Man. Uh, no, there were a bunch. Black Lightning. Black yeah, Lightning. Oh, yeah. yeah, like they all. It's black, like, it's like black obvious, Manta. Obviously, they're black. Like, uh, you don't say like white Spider Man or white this guy. I think that'd be pretty cool. Or Green Hulk. Or Red Spider Man. There's yeah. a uh, black Green Lantern. He's. They don't call him Black Lantern. No. Although there are Black Lanterns. Yes, there are. Yeah. There are two Black Lanterns now. Get to the bottom of this, Ming. I don't like this racism. All right. Bullshit. When we come back, we'll tackle racism and real issues. When we come back from the next day, February fourteenth, everybody will be back. Happy Thursdays, Valentine's Day. Thursdays at nine p.m. Tune in. Set your DVRs. Brian Quinn, thank you for joining. Now us. we know what uh, Debbie Chen's getting for Valentine's Day. Eight more episodes, baby! <laughs> yes, happy Valentine's Day. Brian I'm Johnson. Just confused. <laughs> is this the last episode until you guys come back? Yes. Of this podcast? Yes. Oh, cool. Well, you know, Practical Jokers, December 13th. Yes, all right. Plug, <laughs> Practical all right. Jokers, everybody. Plug all you want because I am. Brian Johnson, thank you for stepping in. No, you are, you no are, bother. You are hereby invited <laughs> to the next eight we do of these. All right. And it's people, a life fault not to show up because I'll be here. People, uh, people love you, dude. Don't be so down on yourself. Yeah. yeah. Was he down on himself before I came here? Yeah. Oh, you should oh, see me. You should see like I'm in the stand, like the Stanley episode. Uh, like I'm a behemoth. You're... It's I'm so fat, man. It's crazy. You got to ignore that shit because I look at these fucking posters they're putting out for season two of, of IJ and I'm just, and I'm like, I thought I lost weight. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think You're I like you watch it. yourself in HD and I'm like this is this yeah. this is not right. They should not do this <laughs> no, to me. No, <laughs> no, no. What's that movie? The guy watches the porn of his daughter, like where he hires uh <laughs> he hires a private detective to find his daughter. Oh, wasn't that hardcore? Yeah, hardcore. Yeah, it's, it was uh, George C. Scott. Is it George C. Scott? Yeah, yeah. And they show him what his daughter's been up to, and he's like, no, <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. I'm sweating feta cheese. Right, make, it stop. Ex- make it stop. Expect more of that. We got eight more episodes of no, no, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then season three, if we get it, I'll be all trimmed down. Looking all right. Good. All right. Cool. Yeah. A, little, a little Wing Chun Kung Fu. Yeah. A little Watch Wang it. Chung. Yes, Mike. Thank you. Meng. So, and thank you, everybody, for watching the uh, the first half of uh, Comic Book Brand. And please come back. Yes. Back to the Jokers. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>